Oh no, Alexis is drunk and she's angry about it too. Lance Alexander is trying to steal Astrid Golding's money. What? Oh my God. <gasps> Wait, but he's right over here. You're over here. You're really bad at this, Lance. Rainbows, welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 Dynasty. I'm so excited for this episode because we're finally jumping into university gameplay. This expansion pack has been out for a month and I am just now getting into it. So we're going to get started with that in this episode. We will be going to Brightchester very soon with all of our university Sims, but First, I have to show you one, Beckett, he, okay, so time has passed between now and the last episode, just so you know. So in the last episode, it was like winter time and then we had all of our Sims like Astrid and Alistair, they got into university and now they are at university. But so when it was that time, it was like winter time. So now it's the next year. So they finished high school, they graduated, it happened like summertime happened and now they are at university, so it is now fall, and we have Beckett here. He grew up into a toddler, and look how cute he is, guys. He is so cute. He has his mother's hair. He's adorable. Look at him. Oh my god, I think he's adorable. And then Harley had her baby, and she had a baby girl. So this is Harley's daughter, Violet. So we will see her whenever she ages up, although it will probably be a while till that happens. If you guys saw the last episode, a lot has happened so Harley she did take a paternity test like Lance asked and it is Lance's baby so Lance had to deal with that whole situation with his parents Lance is actually at university right now but Harley like just had her baby like a week or two ago so we're gonna figure out in this episode what is going to happen with her and Violet and if she's going to university or not we'll find that out very very soon so yeah I just wanted to show you guys that of course now that Harrison oh yeah yeah, I kept calling Harrison Grayson in the last episode for some reason. I think it was because Grayson was one of the names that I was debating on naming him because I thought Grayson Golding sounded cool. Now that I think about it, I kind of wish I went with that instead, but I, his name is Harrison. So if I ever call him Grayson, it is not Grayson, it's Harrison. That's who I'm talking about. But Harrison obviously knows that his stepdaughter has had her baby now. It was rough to tell him at first. He was kind of angry, but him and Victoria have been talking about what they're going to be doing doing with Harley and the baby, like Violet and everything. He was angry at first just because of the whole reputation thing, but it's not his daughter, so I mean, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys that very quickly. And now we're going to Brightchester so I can show you all of our Sims who are at university now and all of the Sims who are going to be in this series. I'm so excited. All right, so we are at Brightchester. I just like redid so much. There's still so much more I have to do, but I redid a lot. So you guys will see some buildings are different. I just downloaded them from the gallery. I just like did hashtag Brightchester and then a bunch of stuff came up, but we have have Alistair and Astrid here. Their father bought this house. So they are living in the house that their father bought and they're living off campus. And then Alexis moved in with them because Alexis is going to Brightchester as well. So we'll get to see a lot more of her. Talon, which is Alexis's father, he is super grateful to Harrison for letting Alexis live there. He would have bought Alexis her own place, but Alexis wanted to room with Astrid. Talon is helping them pay for a bunch of stuff because he's just super grateful and Talon and Harrison are friends too. And then we also have a lot of other characters you might recognize. So here we have Lance Alexander and Devinder Krishna. So they are rooming together. So it's actually funny though, because Lance is Astrid's ex-boyfriend and of course had the baby with Harley, but Devinder has actually had a huge crush on Astrid for like his whole life. But Devinder's parents, they knew Lance's parents and they all talked about them like rooming together and stuff. So Devinder wasn't too happy about it, but he's gotten to know Lance a little bit better and they get along pretty great. And then Melody, she went to Foxbury because that is where her boyfriend Julian goes. She is actually rooming with Lance's sister Roxy. They both go to Foxbury. But then, okay, so I have Julian and Nico Tridantio, which you guys met in the last episode, who Astrid was flirting with a little bit. They both go to Foxbury, but for some reason they're here and this is student housing, but it's for Foxbury Institute, but that's so far. That's such a commute to the classes. I don't understand. I thought they had room somewhere here 
but then this is like an actual house and like they both also come from rich families. Everyone here is so rich. All of our characters are so rich. But yeah, I don't know what happened. I'm going to have to somehow move them there. But anyway, okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump into the houses. I'm so excited. All right, so Alexis is also studying communication, same as Astrid. Alexis is very interested in management and becoming an entrepreneur, just like her father. And same thing with Astrid. I was like weirded out that they didn't have a business degree, but they did tell you that the communications degree is good for management. But this is their student housing slash house that her father or Astrid and Alistair's father bought. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done here. I just wanted to be able to film an episode for you guys. It took me hours to do all this stuff and I was like, I just need to film something. So I decided to just go ahead and play and then I'll make adjustments as we go. Yeah, as you can see up here is real empty, but it looks like most of their classes don't start for another two days. So we have a little bit of time to explore, which I'm really excited about. Although it does look like they do have some homework. So, oh, oh, wow. So we just gotta get started on the homework, you guys. Oh my gosh, that's so much. Oh, they're all so cute doing homework together outside. I, okay, so I was always told, and I have to back this up. Any tips for anyone who have not gone to college yet? You're apparently not supposed to room with your friends because you guys will not be friends after you room together. So I'm interested to see how Alexis and Astrid, how they're gonna work out and if they're going to work out as roommates together. So we have about a day until our classes start. So I think that we should go ahead and explore the campus, which I'm super excited to do. I was thinking that I don't know if Astrid is going to start her own sorority because I feel like that would be a thing, but you don't, I mean, like you can start your own club usually, but I don't really hear much of starting your own sorority. Like usually sororities have been around for a very long time. And I kind of feel like since her parents went to Brightchester and her grandfather went to Brightchester, then Maybe she's trying to join the sorority that her mother was part of. And then I also feel like that maybe Alexis's mother was also in that sorority. So that's the sorority that they want to join. But we'll go ahead and do that in a bit. Right now, I want to go ahead and explore the campus and go to like the student commons and stuff. Oh, and then Alistair and his boyfriend, Jonah, they are doing long distance. Jonah is back at San Myshuno. He did not decide to go to college. They're going to be doing long distance. He might visit sometime soon. So the University Commons. Is the is the library the University Commons? All right, well, I'm not sure why, but I can't find it. If you know if this is Gibbs Hall or if Gibbs Hall is somewhere else, please let me know. There's really, I mean, like, I don't know if there's something I'm supposed to do here. All right, anyway, I'm going to have us all go to the club. It's a little bit early, but that's okay. So I did make like a little, I guess, teen club. They're not really teens anymore, but it still works. So we have all of the Sims that I mentioned that came over from in my shoe know that everybody knows. So we're gonna go out and Lance is gonna be there. So that should definitely be interesting. I have added Roxy, which is Lance's sister, Devinder, Melody, Alistair, of course, Julian, Lance, Alexis, and Nico. So we are all going to go to the club and have some fun. So we are here at the bar and then everyone's sort of in their little clubbing outfits now, or at least I'm trying to change them into their little clubbing outfits. All right, they're getting their drinks. And so a lot of time obviously has passed between the last episode and now Lance, oh my God, Lance is talking to Astrid right now. They still do not have a good relationship. It looks like their romance level just went down though because I feel like Lance is still trying to flirt with Astrid. I feel like Devinder is saying okay I've had a crush on Astrid for so long. I think he's trying to get Alexis to help him talk to Astrid tonight. But really, I feel like Alexis has been trying to help him for ages, so I don't really know what's going to happen with that. I wonder if maybe part of it could be that Alexis might have a crush on Devinder herself. So that is a possibility. Oh, but Astrid is, oh, oh, oh my God. Astrid is talking to Nico now and they're flirting like right behind Lance too. He's not seeing any of this though. Oh, but it does look like Lance got up. Oh, and it looks like like Nico took his seat too. And it looks like Astrid's flirting all the way from here. Okay, Lance definitely saw this now. Oh no, Alexis is drunk and she's angry about it too. Lance Alexander is trying to steal Astrid Golding's money. What? Oh my God. <gasps> Wait, but he's right over here. You're over here. You're really bad at this, Lance. I feel like with Lance and his parents, like when they found out that Harley was pregnant, they got very upset with Lance, but they obviously still let him go to university, but they are making,
making him pay the child support. So maybe this is his way of like getting back, I don't know, trying to steal the money back from Astrid. Maybe he's just having a hard time making money, but he told his parents that he was fine. But oh my God, I can't believe he just tried to steal her money. Although it didn't look like he did anything at all. So that was really weird. Everyone is dancing. Oh no, oh, uh oh, Astrid is feeling nauseous. Oh no, Astrid's drunk now, but she's sad drunk. I feel like she needs to talk to her girls. Melody and Alexis, let's let's go, let's go somewhere else or let's just talk out here together. Aw, they probably miss Melody a lot. I'm sure Melody misses them too. She doesn't really know Roxy. They just decided to room together because they both found out that they were going to Foxbury and they like somewhat knew of each other. They are roommates now, but I feel like Melody and her, like they don't really click as well. So, all right, let's do a knock knock joke. So, oh, and then there's Roxy right now. I feel like Melody might just miss her girls a lot with her. I mean, she's really smart and she is studying biology. So she decided to study the route of like becoming a doctor because that's both what her parents are. They're both in the medical field, but with her boyfriend, Julian, he's studying computer science and he is like joining a fraternity and like making other friends and stuff too. And apparently lives all the way across campus. So I got to figure that out too. But I'm sure Melody is just missing him a lot. She doesn't have her friends and she's only really like has school and then her boyfriend. So that's just stuff going on with them too. All right, everyone's dancing together. We probably should go soon. We have class very, very soon. Oh wait, oh my God. <gasps> oh my God, Astrid and Nico just had their first kiss. Oh, Devinder is back there though. And Lance is here too. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, I mean like Astrid was drunk. She was sad drunk though. You shouldn't be getting drunk before your first day of classes though. Oh my God, they just had their first kiss. Oh, and Devinder was going to talk to her today too, but Alexis didn't really talk him up in time. Devinder's really sweet, you guys. He's just really shy. He should have made moves like a long time ago though. You can't expect to wait like your entire teenager life and like start of your young adult life. But I feel like he was like, all right, this is college. Like we're here at college. This is a new me. I'm gonna like be more social. I'm gonna like try to talk to Astrid, but then Astrid just kissed Nico. So I don't even know actually if he saw it, but I. I feel like if he did, he's gonna be pretty upset about it because that's kind of what he was hoping for tonight. All right, but we should definitely go home because yeah, I'm gonna end this club gathering now because it is almost time for all of their classes. I know all the classes are just rabbit holes, but I definitely want them to still go and we definitely need to have them do well in school. Oh gosh, everyone came with us. Maybe they were all too drunk to go home? I don't know. All right, so it's not quite time for classes yet, but it's almost time. So Astrid is just getting a call from her father, Harrison, not Grayson. And he's talking to her about the whole situation with Harley. And he knows that they do have an extra bedroom. So I feel like he's telling her that they are going to be sending Harley to university and she is going to be living in the same house. So obviously Astrid is pissed out. I feel like she just told her father like, no, this is not happening. But he's saying like, I paid for that house. Harley is going to live there. If you want to move out, you can pay for your own house. And Astrid also wants to get into the sorority that her mother was in. So I feel like that's probably going to be her goal is to get into the sorority. And well, okay, I was just trying to follow you guys. And now you guys are going back in here. But basically to try to get into the sorority and move out so they can live in the sorority home because it's a really nice home and it's closer to their classes at Brightchester. So I think that is now Astrid's goal. And she's just saying like, look, if anyone can do this, I can do this. Oh, Alexis is off to class. Oh, they're all off to class. Yeah, it is a rabbit hole. And Astrid is going to class very angry. So that's not good. So yeah, that's going to be the whole thing with that. But guys, I think we're going to end this episode here. So in the next episode, Harley will be moving in. And then I'm sure Lyric will be visiting them and staying with Alexis and with Astrid and Alistair as well to visit. And then Alexis and Astrid, they're going to be trying to get out of that house, trying to join the sorority and trying to do all that stuff and get away from Harley. So we'll just have to see how that goes. We'll have to see how it goes with Lance because he's trying to steal her money, which is insane. So I got to see if maybe Astrid might report that or something. But anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.